Okay, folks, it's Dr. Herbert Harris. We're back again. Technical issues are a trip, aren't they? But anyway, today we're going to talk about how to improve your self-discipline as a foundation for improving your ability to focus. You know, when you live without dignity, there's a beautiful quote I love, and it says, when you live without dignity, you when you live without discipline, you die without dignity. I'll say it again. When you live without digni- discipline, you die without dignity. Without discipline, you will not be successful. You see, self-discipline requires that you take possession of your mind in such strength or degree that your emotions, your instincts, and your body are under your control. Self-discipline is control from within. And so when you attempt to focus, and see, focus is necessary for success. And when you attempt to focus, if you don't have the self-discipline to make yourself pay attention, to focus your intention on the things that you desire, that's a challenge. That's a problem. Welcome. Hey, Delora and Jane and Leroy and David. Beautiful David from Charlotte. Hey, we got to talk soon. I'm going to give you a call, my friend. But, you know, your self-discipline begins with your thoughts. And so when you attempt to be focused in your life, if you are not, if you are not in control of your thoughts, then you're really fighting an uphill battle. If you cannot control your thoughts, you cannot control your actions or your emotions. When you have control over your thoughts, you will never be mastered by other people. And you'll always be able to take possession of whatever you are entitled to. And isn't that the essence of focus, to be able to look at something that you really desire and then to put all of your energy, all of your resources, all of your efforts on achieving that? And so if you think about this, this idea of self-discipline is such a profound foundation for focus that if you don't have self-discipline, you will not be focused. We're going to cover some of these things tonight, and the purpose of these live broadcasts today is to let you know about our webinar, our free webinar tonight, Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, on how to overcome lack of focus. And one of the things that we're going to talk about tonight is the idea of improving your self-discipline. If you can improve your self-discipline, you can improve your ability to focus. Seven ways to improve your self-discipline. Think about this. Number one, And this really ties in with the idea of focus. Number one, believe that you can succeed and set about doing just that. Believe that you can succeed and set about doing just that. That's the essence of focus. In other words, focus is pointing your efforts, your attention toward the thing that you desire, your intention. And so when you believe it, that you will succeed, you have literally put your intention into action. And then when you start doing it, you have put your attention into action. Welcome, Stan. And so the idea of overcoming the lack of focus requires that you develop your self-discipline so that you can control your thoughts, so that you can control your actions and control your emotions. So first and foremost, in order to believe that you can succeed and set about doing that, you must have complete faith. I'm going to say that again. Complete faith in your abilities and courage to take immediate action. In order to succeed, you must have complete faith in your abilities and courage to take immediate action. And so when we begin to overcome lack of focus, that idea of the self-discipline of believing that you can succeed in getting busy doing it, you've literally overcome a block. You've overcome a barrier. We're going to talk more about that tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern on our free webinar. The link is right next to our video. Click on it. Number two, If you want to strengthen your self-discipline to give a more profound foundation to your ability to focus, then you have to learn to roll with the punches. You know, my dad was a boxer. 
And he said, you have to learn to bob and weave. He said, it's not so much that you're the greatest puncher uh, or the greatest dodger or hit with the greatest force. He said, you have to learn to bob and weave so that you can avoid the punches from the other boxer. And so in life, you have to learn to bob and weave, learn to roll with the punches. Don't give in to the pressures. You know, when we're focused on a goal, focused on something we really want to do, be and have, it's so easy for stuff to happen where it just pulls you right off. Events, distractions, people, events. So learn to roll with the punches. And I'm gonna tell, this is a jewel here, folks. Don't sweat the small stuff. I'm going to say that again. Don't sweat the small stuff. So many times when things happen, we get so involved with minutia. We spend dollar time on penny jobs. We spend dollar intent on penny endeavors. So roll with the punches. Don't sweat the small stuff. One of the things I find is this. If you take care of the big things, the little things will take care of themselves. Now, those of you who are on the uh, broadcast now, please, uh, Invite some of your friends to join us. We're going to be going another five minutes or so. Invite some of your friends to join us and let them know that we're doing another live broadcast today at 12 noon Eastern. At high noon, we're going to be doing another broadcast. William, Willie, welcome to the broadcast. But at 12 noon today, we're going to be doing another broadcast. And so any questions that you have about focus, any questions that you have about self-discipline, once this is posted, write your questions down, write your comments down, what you got from this broadcast. And what we will do is we'll answer them at 12 o'clock noon today. So Willie's aboard. Mona Lisa, welcome. And, and Sherry, welcome. Boy, we have some great people on the line this, on the line this morning. Now, let me share this. That when you, Strengthen your self-discipline, your ability to discipline yourself, to control yourself. You automatically build a strong foundation to your ability to focus. The, the third key to strengthening your self-discipline is to get busy. You know, activity is a great response to negativity. That's a good affirmation. Activity is a great response to negativity. And so when you get busy achieving your goals, you just do it. You get busy following your plans and achieving your goals. And pretty soon you'll forget why they cannot be done. There's a beautiful quote that says, you get so busy doing it, you forget all the reasons that it cannot be done. Self-discipline means that you must always be positive, to be in control. You see, negativity comes at you. Life is like a garden. You plant flowers, but nobody has to plant weeds. You ever wonder about that? Why are there weeds? Why do the weeds come up? Nobody plants them. But that's just the yin and yang aspect of the universe. There can't be an up without a down. There can't be light without darkness. And so the moment you have good things, good people, good ideas, the weeds will grow up. The negativity of the world comes. And I think the negativity sometimes comes just to test your resolve, to see if you really want it, to see if you're really serious about the goals, the things you want to achieve for yourself. And so to be in control, you must always be positive. You must always be a flower. Stay as far away from all negativity as possible. Let's say that again. Stay as far away as possible from all negativity. I'll tell you this, if over the next six months you avoid all negativity, the moment somebody comes to you with something negative, you say, that's not for me. When people bring you negative information about others, you say, ain't it great, fantastic, and smile real big. One of the things I find about people who bring you negativity, if you keep answering the negativity with positivity, they're going to stay away. You know, the law of attraction works both ways. <laughs> if you're attracting a lot of negative people into your life, then it's a clue that you need to maybe take a look in the mirror. But when you start radiating that positivity that you are in control of your thoughts, of your emotions and your efforts, people will join you who will help you. 
and they'll run from you who are afraid of you. So folks, again, tonight, this is just a, the tip of the iceberg. But if you want to hear the whole story, and I certainly want to share it, our special webinar, How to Overcome Lack of Focus, we're going to deal with some of these things tonight. And on that, the right next to our video here and on the box we describe in the video, you'll see the link to register for the How to Overcome Lack of Focus webinar tonight, Monday, August 7th at 9 p.m. You can register. There's no charge. It's a free webinar. And let me tell you this. Just for registering, you're going to get some goodies. You're going to get an audio download. It's about 27 minutes of some powerful information. Seven causes of failure. This audio download, I'll tell you, if you listen to this thing over and over, it'll turn your whole game around. You're also going to get a copy of our Setting and Achieving Your Goals so that you can adjust and refine your goals for this year so that this year, we got about another, oh, five months that you can throw down to get down. You can get up by putting the energy, the efforts forth on a particular direction, by using your focus to get what you want to do, to be what you want to be, to have what you want to have. So, folks. Thank you so much for inviting your friends. We're going to have another live broadcast today at 12 noon. So please get on the broadcast. Let people know about it. Share it with them. We're going to go for about 15 minutes at 12 o'clock at high noon. But I'll tell you this. We're going to deal with five other ways to help you strengthen your self-discipline. We're going to show you how to take control of your mind in such strength and degree that you, nothing and no one can stop you can undermine your focus. So this is Dr. Herbert Harris saying, hey, the best is yet to come. Each of us has the ability to turn our lives around, to create our life by design and to make it exactly the way we want it to be. But our power of focus is one of our most awesome tools that can give us the ability to hone in our energies, to put them in one direction and to set our dreams on fire so that we can fly to our dreams, so that we can soar to our goals, so that we can be whatever we want to be. Hey, honey, Daniels, welcome, welcome, welcome. So join us at 12 o'clock today for our live broadcast. Any questions you have or comments about focus and self-discipline, write them on the bottom as comments to this broadcast. And whatever you do, go immediately to the website listed at our in the message here next to the video and register for the free how to Overcome Lack of Focus webinar tonight, Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Herbert Harris saying the best is yet to come. See you tonight at 9 p.m. Invite your friends. Let's make it happen.